You know, golf is the strangest sport. You have to practice like it's the most important thing in the world and then play competition like you just don't care. And that's what we're gonna get stuck into today with this golf psychology video. This is the channel for improving your mental game. Please subscribe, please like this video, and also please get in the comments and let me know your thoughts as we go through this series. Golf is a lot more than just physical skill. It requires mental strength, focus, and determination. Most amateur golfers spend lots of time on their physical game and completely ignore the mental game. And if you don't maximize good golf psychology and your mental strength, no matter how much time you spend on the driving range, you'll probably never fulfill your potential. Now, practice is important, but also understanding the difference between practice and competition is also key to maximizing your mental game on the golf course. So, golf psychology wise, what's the difference between practice and competition? Practice. Practice is where you work on your technique and it's very important that you identify the weaknesses in your game and you practice on those weaknesses. So many people, for instance, who are great at driving, go to the driving range and they hit drivers and they hit them as far because they like watching these balls sailing down the range and they're trying to impress all the people around them on the range when actually you should be identifying the weaknesses and working on those. And the place to do that practice is not out here on the golf course, it is at the driving range, it is on your club practice ground, it is around your practice chipping green, it is on the practice putting green. And you practice as hard as you can and you practice like your life depends on it to get better. So what about out here on the golf course and in competition? Well, it's the total opposite of practice. When you're on the golf course and in particular playing in competition, you have to play like you completely don't care. You have to trust that the work that you're putting in on the driving range and the practice ground and the practice chipping green and the practice putting green is going to pay dividends when you come out on the golf course, but you just have to let go and just go into a automatic mode. Why do we get anxious in competitions or anxious over a shot? It's because we're worried about the outcome. Why do we get particularly more nervous when we've got a hazard in front of us? It's because we're worried about putting it into that hazard. We have to get out of that mindset. We have to hit every shot like we just don't care. So to give you something that's relatable to this subject, because I'm sure everyone watching this would have experienced this it, probably multiple times. It's the days leading up to the big competition. This is the competition that everyone wants to win. You've been practicing hard. You can't wait for this day to come. You turn up on the day, you're all excited. You're a little bit nervous. And then after nine holes, you've played absolutely dreadful. The competition is completely over. You're so disappointed and a little bit angry that it's all gone on that first nine. And then on the back nine, you're like, well, I may as well just play in now. And then all of a sudden, you start playing great golf on the back nine. You get in the clubhouse afterwards and you're like, oh, it was a tail of two nines today. On the front nine, I was terrible. And on the back nine, I started playing great. You know, if I played the front nine like I played the back nine, I probably would have been with a chance of winning this competition today. That is not a coincidence. It's because on the back nine, you started to care less. You got out of your way and you freed yourself up to start playing your golf shots in a more natural fashion. It's that mindset on the 10th tee in that circumstance that you've got to have on the first tee in every single competition that you play. Yeah. I always say that when I get over a shot on the golf course, I have to fear, try and feel like I'm just hitting it off into the oblivion. I'm not bothered about where it goes. I'm just hitting it off into space. Okay. So the rest of the videos in this series are going to give you methods to help you on the golf course to try and get that mindset of not caring. There's an amazing quote, uh, which was like a, a huge light bulb going off for me. And that quote is, on the golf course, you should never be careless, but there's a massive benefit to caring less. And that is just an amazing quote. And it's so, so true. When you're on the golf course, and I'm talking about all times on the golf course, we have to try and replicate a, uh, an atmosphere that we feel comfortable in all the time. 
We don't want to get into competitions and all of a sudden feel different to we do at other times. We've got to try and feel comfortable and confident at all times. Okay, so that's it for this first video in this new golf psychology series, Mastering the Mental Game. I hope that's helped you understand the distinct difference between practice and competition and play on the golf course. If you get too technical or it means too much on the golf course, things always go wrong. You have to just let your natural ability, and like I said before, trusting the time you've been putting into your practice to start to pay dividends when you're out on the golf course. Now saying you're gonna come out here caring less and actually doing it are two completely different things. But in these further videos in this series, I'm gonna help give you the tools that are gonna help you get into that mindset when you're on the golf course. And then obviously, most importantly, when you're in competition. And also, if you can get into that mindset of not caring or caring less, you actually enjoy your time on the golf course a whole lot more than the person who it means the world to and gets angry and gets upset. Okay. That's it for today's video. Keep an eye out for the further videos in this series. We're really gonna go deeper into golf psychology more than what we ever have before. This is the channel for improving your mental game. Please subscribe, please like this video, and also please get in the comments and let me know your thoughts as we go through this series. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.